Surface tension of a liquid. Now we are going to determine the surface tension of a water by using traveling microscope. Apparatus: capillary tube, traveling microscope, beaker, water, bent wire, and retort stand. First, we need to find the diameter of a capillary tube through traveling microscope. From that, we can find the radius of the capillary tube. Fix the capillary tube horizontally on retort stand. Adjust the traveling microscope. Exactly it is clearly visible of the left edge of the capillary tube. Note down the main scale reading and vernier coincidence. On horizontal scale of traveling microscope, we get left edge is equal to 2.005 cm. Adjust traveling microscope exactly it is clearly visible of right edge of the capillary tube. Note main scale reading and vernier coincidence. We get right edge is equal to 2.095 cm. Difference of right edge and left edge we get diameter of capillary tube. Diameter is equal to 0.090 cm. Radius is equal to 0.045 cm. Now take a capillary tube with the help of a bent wire and a thread. Fix it as shown. Take a beaker and fill it with water. Fix a capillary tube vertically using retort stand and insert capillary tube into the beaker containing water until the bent wire touches the surface of the water. Adjust the traveling microscope exactly it is clearly visible that water touches the bent wire. Note main scale reading and vernier coincidence. On vertical scale on traveling microscope we get S1 is equal to 2.017 cm. Adjust the traveling microscope exactly it is clearly visible the rise of the water in a capillary tube. Note main scale reading and vernier coincidence. On vertical scale on traveling microscope we get S2 is equal to 7.291 cm. Now we get the height of capillary rise by using S1 and S2. H is equal to S2 minus S1. Density of water. Gravitation. By using the formula, we can find the surface tension of a water. Precautions. Avoid parallax error while taking readings.